Welcome to another UCL Fantasy video ahead of match day six. This will be the best limitless team. Be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. And there'll also be a best wildcard team and team selection video as well, as always. And be sure to tune in for the deadline stream for match day six. But without further ado, let's get straight into this video. If you end up enjoying this video, then be sure to drop it a like as we're trying to get this to over 300 likes overall. And we're also looking to push on towards 17,000 subscribers. The two goalkeepers you can see on screen are Diogo Costa and Thibaut Courtois. And it's absolutely incredible what Costa's been doing over the last three games. The 23-year-old goalkeeper has saved three penalties in a row and he is getting double-digit returns every single time. And this has never been done in the Champions League before. And I would go for him despite the fact that he does face Atletico Madrid at home. So that could be a bit of a tricky one. So if we go here to the fixtures and then you've got Courtois at home to Celtic I have to say that's a really good fixture in my opinion and I think that Courtois has a really good chance of some returns there I know Madrid have been a bit shaky recently but Madrid are still one of the best teams in the world really and he is also one of the more nailed on options for Madrid where they could actually rotate some key players such as Carvajal as they did in match day five so Courtois is a really safe and secure option to cover their defense at home to Celtic where to be honest I'm expecting a clean sheet for Los Merengue is. And I think both of these goalkeepers also complement each other really well. Remember, if you are picking two goalkeepers on the limitless or the wild card, and also your team in general, make sure they play on different days so you're able to rotate them and make the substitutions from the Tuesday to the Wednesday. One key thing to note about match day six is that rotation is very common in match day six. A lot of teams would have qualified already, secured first place, and so they don't have to play that strong of a team and they will rest some key players which will involve key fantasy assets. And we're going to highlight them towards the end of this video. But Sula should start away to Copenhagen. He was really good for Bayern Munich last season. He's a really good in terms of ball recoveries and also has a bit of attacking threat, but mainly the clean sheets and the ball recoveries. I would expect both of them actually actually against Copenhagen who have two suspensions going into match day six and also plenty of injury concerns. I think Dortmund will get the job done and the likes of Guerrero and Munier are heavy doubts. I don't think they will feature in match day six, but of course we could get further updates over the next few days. But Sula is a really good replacement for them. And whilst he doesn't have the same assists and goal for it as the other two, he has the ball recoveries and he's also a really good choice overall, a nice differential. Then we've got Grimaldo, who is one of the highest scoring players in the game, mainly due to match day one where he got a 20 pointer and I could see him doing the same thing against the same opposition Maccabi Haifa now I'm not actually banking on the clean sheet for Benfica here but Grimaldo has the attacking threat and he's really good for assists Ball recovery is not so much, I will admit. The likes of Antonio Silva and Otamendi are even better. But Grimaldo remains a good choice. And then we've got Simican, who has been so consistent over the last few match days, constantly getting seven points and above due to assists, goals, the occasional ball recovery point. And he's such a great player. And also, in terms of the Man of the Match awards, he's one of the best defenders, you know, in terms of chances of getting those awards and those extra free points. Joao Cancelo, for me, is the biggest concern of the lot. I'm not too sure if he's actually going to get um, the start in match day six which is a bit of a shame I think he's the best option overall in terms of defenders so he's the one I would definitely highlight in terms of a big big doubt and in terms of filling the fifth defender I've been a bit mixed on this but on the limitless I think I would go for Davis who is facing Inter Milan that isn't going to be an easy game but I think I would go for Alfonso Davis let me know if you would go for anyone else uh, but I would cover Bayern Munich in some shape or form and I think Davis is still a really good choice he's got a bit of attacking threat the ball recoveries and he is very consistent in UCL fantasy so that is my back Backline. Let me know if you disagree. And now let's move on to the midfielders. We have a very balanced midfield here and we're not just going for the most expensive players at our disposal. But the only player I would have a concern about going into match day six is Kevin De Bruyne. I'm just not so sure if he does start, just like with Cancelo. So these City assets are definitely going to be painful and very frustrating going into the match day six deadline. So Kevin De Bruyne could be one to possibly replace. And it's not like we have so many other options that are standing out and that we could easily replace him with. But you could consider Vinicius Jr. and doubling up on Real Madrid midfield. Although Vinicius is also another one who could be rotated in match day six. But Mohamed Salah, a really crucial game there against Napoli where Liverpool could take top spot. But I think they have to beat Napoli by a certain amount. Of course, they did lose 4-1 in Naples. And Salah, despite his mixed Premier League form, he has been absolutely fantastic in the Champions League. And he is the joint top scorer with six goals. So Salah is a great option there. Then we've got Sadio Mane, who has been very impressive in recent weeks for Bayern Munich. And he has a tough game against Inter Milan. But I would go for him, especially with Alexis Sane being heavy doubts in match day six. And I don't think he will return just yet. So Mane remains a fabulous option, to be honest. 
And then I've gone for Rodrigo, who has been decent in the Champions League when he has gotten the opportunity. And when you look at Vinicius Jr., he's actually less likely to start compared to Rodrigo. And that's why I've gone for this Brazilian rather than the other, who normally Vinicius is someone I just keep on recommending. He's a fantastic option on any kind of chip. But at the moment, I would go for Rodrigo because he's more likely to start. And then Bellingham, he has been so consistent. Probably the best UCL fantasy option all season. He's facing Copenhagen, who, like I said already, they are depleted due to suspensions and injuries. And Bellingham has been fantastic against any opposition. Even against City, he got returns from ball recoveries. He's a jack of all trades and he is such a fantastic option in every single aspect. So this midfield is looking really solid. The only doubt I would have though, like I said earlier, is Kevin De Bruyne. To complete this team, I would go for Lewandowski, Messi and Mbappe. Now, there would be maybe a few concerns about this. Two PSG forwards against Juventus, but Juventus have a lot of injuries and they have been struggling all season. They're already out of the Champions League and PSG can still put a strong team out and look to secure top spot because Benfica have a good chance. They're facing Maccabi Haifa, so PSG haven't secured first place. They could face a really tough opponent if they go second, so I think they will put a strong team out and the likes of Messi, who is just in great form and he's been fantastic all season with the goals and the assists having Messi and Mbappe is a nice differential that sets you apart from the rest of the pack and you look down the list of the forwards and whilst there are some good names out there you know the likes of the Napoli forwards they're facing Liverpool and despite them losing to Leeds over the weekend they still are really imperious at Anfield so I don't think there's any clear standouts Benzema is also doubtful heading into match day six amongst many other key figures who just might not even start in match day six so as a result Messi and Mbappe, I think, are great options. They have a high ceiling against Juventus, despite the fact that normally this is a really tough fixture. And you've got Lewandowski away to Pilsen. Now, Lewandowski may not even start. Barcelona are already out, and they already have that third spot pretty much secured. So they will be going to the Europa League. But still, Lewandowski, if he does start, I think he's a great choice and also provides you a fantastic captaincy option for the 1st of November. So that is also a really big plus about Lewandowski. My only concern is whether he will start. So now at the end of this video, I want to highlight a few things and that's the captaincy and also the players that I would be a bit unsure about and the ones where maybe you in the comment section down below can suggest even better players to go for. So Lewandowski may not even start, so he will be one of those players. Then we've got Kevin De Bruyne and Joao Cancelo. As for the rest, I'd be fairly confident of them starting, although you could maybe say someone like Mane or Davis are not certainties to start, to say the least, to be fair. And in terms of the captaincy, I would go for Lewandowski on the 1st of October, and on the 2nd, I would go for either a PSG forward like Messi or Mbappe or Bellingham against Copenhagen. That will be my thoughts on the captaincy. And remember, always make sure to have those on your bench playing on the Wednesday. Don't have any Tuesday players on your bench, otherwise you miss out on the points entirely. And make sure to captain a player who plays on the Tuesday, and then if it doesn't work out or you want even more points, you can then switch to captaincy during the substitution window. That's really crucial. A lot of people do miss it, and it's really, really important stuff that can give you even more points going into the future. But thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, then be sure to smash the like button and subscribe for new. Let's get this video to over 300 likes. Let's also push on towards 17,000 subscribers. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, DylanRCM, and you can also become a Patreon or a channel member. The link's on the description below. The same goes for the UCL Fantasy League and the Discord server. So all of that is there. I wish you all the best of luck for match day six and the rest of the season, and I'll see you next time.